For this week in our inspiring office action responses, we will be talking about overcoming a automatic means to replace manual activity in obviousness rejections. Uh, this is something where you have uh, come up with some automated system and the patent office asserts that there was a manual uh, activity that basically did the same thing with the same result, and therefore that uh, automating this manual activity is per se obvious. Um, it's a frustrating kind of a rejection um, because in theory, building a better mousetrap uh, should allow the world to be the path to your door. And in this case, you're not only building a better mousetrap, but in fact, you are taking uh, the potentially human um, activity of trapping mice and making a machine. It's like you're building the first mouse trap ever, and they argue that this is not patentable. Very annoying. So what can you do? Well, one approach to responding to this is to point out that whatever the particular activity is that is allegedly being treated as obvious, in fact, wasn't done manually previously. So you can say, look, in this case, whatever we happen to be doing wasn't done by a human being before, um, even if you might argue that, uh, that there's some automation or that there's some analogous human activity. And this is exactly the argument raised by Mark Crockett from Ludeca Neely Group PC when prosecuting a patent application which claimed a sensor interface that connected sensors to an automatic monitoring system. In this case, the patent examiner rejected the application arguing that it merely replaced a manual activity with an automatic means of accomplishing the same task. In response, the applicant argued, first of all, that the case cited by the examiner, Inri Venner, did not establish a per se rule regarding the obviousness of replacing a manual activity with an automated means. Additionally, they pointed out that the office action must show prior art evidence that the manual activity actually existed that was being automated. In that case, they argued that the office action did not point to any manual switches that were connected to positive, negative, and neutral supply voltages in the prior art that were then being replaced by the claimed software controllable switches. As a result of this, the examiner acknowledged the argument stating the prior art, in fact, does not teach or suggest the sensor power and conditioning interface as amended. The application then went on to issue as US patent number 10175148. Congratulations to Mark Crockett for exemplary work in drafting this winning office action response.